Okay, hello there guys. Welcome to the first drive impression of the all new 2024 Creta facelift. Well, because it's a facelift, there's no major change in the tech specs. So the powertrains remain the same, the power figures remain the same. This is the 1.5 liter Trident tested CRDI U2 turbo diesel engine with the torque converter automatic. So let's slot it into drive mode or slot it into sport mode straight away. You get ventilated seats you have this beautiful new dash layout seamless you know connecting dash i mean uh, it connects the central console with the speedo console uh the one thing the one thing i wish were different was the layout of the speedo console now why would you give the same layout as that of the sonnet for the legendary creta i mean i see no apparent reason for that i mean creta is a class apart it has following unlike any other it enjoys a legacy unlike any other it is the class leading undisputed champion in the compact suv segment ruling the reins ever since its inception and why would you insult it by giving it the same console or the same layout as that of a sonnet which is one segment which sits one segment lower so that is unacceptable in my opinion uh, it's like uh, you know insulting the Creta uh, legacy so apart from that the seamless uh, touchscreen response uh, the best part of course has to be so as you can see there's a car tailing me so I step on the gas I have a very clear view very clear view and this is the best part that I like one is the part I didn't like then this is the best part that I like and then of course you can actually rotate the screen as well the orientation of 360 degree view at the 360 degree view and let's get going now and we still have until and unless we are too fast so here okay so unless until we are below okay at below 10 at below 10 kilometers per hour if you're going it gives you a clear view of 360 degree even while running see even while the car is running you have a very clear crisp display and better use of the massive 10.25 inch uh, touchscreen infotainment system so this is the best part and they've really offered the best in class camera uh, display resolution as well as camera resolution so hats off to uh, Hyundai for that for now let's uh, get back to actual performance so step on the gas baby whoa so shifting just above 4000 rpm it roars pretty well but uh, diesel engine noise is not so pleasant to hear as much as the petrol okay okay the brakes are good now these ride on 17 inches i mean 17 inch wheels uh nice and white tires suspension seems to have gotten a little stiffer or uh, that is something most of them uh, kept asking for they were complaining of softer suspension even in the Alcazar because my friends have owned Alcazar and uh, they wanted a slightly stiffer suspension uh, and I think Hyundai have tried to you know improve the damping settings here 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. The steering feel is good. It's a flat bottom steering wheel. As you can see, the suspension is not as soft or bouncy as it used to be. We are tackling a corner at pretty good speeds. This is a high speed corner, sweeping corner. We're taking it at triple digit speeds and it is coping really, really well. And this is a brand new car, mind you, you haven't, uh, you just taken it straight out of the launch. And this is a demo vehicle, by the way, but still, it has to, you know, be run in to be, be able to be pushed to its limits. But getting a feel of uh, the new Creta, uh, the engine, when you're cruising or ambling around, say, for instance, your drive mode, you can see there's hardly any uh, NVH levels apparent. So the noise, vibration, harshness levels have been further reduced unless or until you step on the gas really hard and push the, you know, put the pedal to the metal. Apart from that, it is pretty chill. And, uh, okay, let's get in here. So even uh, while ambling around, the steering sensitivity is not too light. It is not too heavy. It's just a perfect weight. And of course, as the speed builds up, the steering weighs up as well to give you a little bit of confidence, especially the corner that we took. We took it at 120 kilometers per hour. So this we can't take, it's a sharper corner. This one we're taking it as 50 kilometers per hour, but still the steering inputs are good. There's no oversteer. So first let's turn around here. It's pretty smooth, most refined diesel engine in its class, undeniably. You gotta give it to Creta, the CRDI Tech. I'm a fan. So it's a benchmark in and of itself. There goes the I-20. I own an I-20 N-Line as well. You guys know that. But mine is a petrol DCT for a true petrol head. But then of course, the corner hard. It still holds up well for an SUV, for a tall stance. It has a pretty good tall stance now. And uh, it looks big, it looks huge, especially while you're sitting on the inside. It looks bigger than the previous gen Creta. It gives you a feel that you're driving a bigger car. That is uh, uh, what is immediately apparent. It's a good thing the flat bottom steering wheel remains more or less the same. We do get paddle shifters. Let's put in slot into Okay, this is first gear. Okay, it shifts at uh, 4200 RPM. Automatically, whether you shift it or not, doesn't hold the gear. It does hold it up to 4200 RPM, otherwise it will shift even faster. So for now, if we drop down to second gear, you can see uh, the engine noise creeping in the brakes are good brakes are really really good and offer good uh, amount of confidence and despite you know these are not bled in so the bedding in has not been done because these are brand new cars so i'm also not putting you know pushing it for uh, the ultimate top speed or anything i'm just getting a feel of the acceleration feel of the cabin noise i'm a little too particular about the comfort because the back uh, portion needs to have a good amount of back support and lower lumbar support so it is good enough even the thigh support is good for the driver and of course you get ventilated seats to add on the comfort and convenience uh, but more than that uh, is the steering feel that matters to me the most it has to be uh, premium now what i like about this is as i told you the dash layout is seamless well integrated doesn't stick out so that is one part and the rest of the dash even the piano black accent over there uh, dual zone climate control tactile buttons for uh, each of the operation like radio media uh, setup and all again map and all so that's a good uh, inclusion wireless charging works flawlessly uh, we do get uh, type c charging and also i've given a detailed overview run through of the models and the features and the updates in my walk around please do watch it but as a enthusiast 
who loves to drive more and more and enjoy the drivability uh, of a driver's car uh, i would say they have played it safe this is known or branded as a facelift so you can't expect <clears throat> day and night kind of a difference but one thing they have tweaked the damping settings they have added better more reinforcements to the chassis structure to make it a little more sturdy and uh, going by what we saw with the verna uh, which received very good uh, safety rating i mean five star safety rating i think uh, this when uh, it reaches uh, the crash test results are out i think we'll have a impressive safety rating as well as of now it gets six airbags as standard adas level 2 uh, you get adaptive cruise control and all those uh, adas features which i'm not a fan of see you don't want the car to do the driving you want to do the driving adas is advanced driver assistance system which kind of watches your back but we old school true petrol heads want to do the job ourselves that is where the fun of driving lies in so never stop driving never stop exploring is a mantra which i live by so we bikes or cars we love them all alike so for now i'm enjoying this beautiful sunset and evening along with the creta and i'm sure you're enjoying as well as you can see uh, let's try and do a short turn to check the turning radius because this is a single lane road so full cut can we make a turn no we can't so it is a good ploy though one uh, cut here one cut there and we're good to go okay how does the paddle shifters work put it into sport mode on third gear now again you have driving modes so you do have this option to go with different driving modes like eco normal and sport thankfully there is not that annoying voice assistance a sport mode activated eco mode activated so we all know what we just activated so don't let a lady to reiterate that so now and the speed or layout changes according to the mode you select so that's another thing so let's now see whether we have a clean uh, road ahead and step on the gas so as you can see it doesn't wait for us to shift doesn't hold the gear it just keeps shifting on its own so we are doing already pretty decent speeds of triple digits cruising speeds and uh, okay that's about it it's a beautiful day let's enjoy the drive enjoy the view and uh, there will be definitely another day where we push the car to its limits in a controlled environment at least a semi controlled environment how i wish they take us just like skoda did uh, take us uh, auto freaks to natrax to test the top speed capability or handling capability or high speed stability uh, of each of these vehicles especially the verna and uh, maybe uh, the creta they can uh, arrange a event as such as what i feel uh, apart from that everything ac efficacy i mean the cabin cooling capability is really really good it really uh, you know cooled the cabin in an instant i had to turn down the fan speed so that is a good thing the speakers were fine uh, most importantly i love the steering sensitivity i love the gear shifts of the auto as well as the uh, paddle shifters and uh, yeah that's about it uh, the comfort is maximized uh, the diesel powertrain is uh, offers the best of both worlds perfect blend of power and economy and uh, that's enough uh, i mean uh, you can't you're not going to go blasting across the streets at 200 km per hour so you need a good bottom end uh, you know punch to perform those quick overtakes and uh, this has what it takes i mean just step on the gas it just gives you that thrust to perform those quick overtakes instantly even in the drive mode so that is a good thing to have on board and then on the highways you need a good cruising speed so it can cruise at around 120 all day long effortlessly so that i think uh, uh, makes what uh, a champion is truly made up of best of both worlds giving pocket friendly maintenance pocket friendly usability as well as luxury and convenience and safety and also drivability at the end of it all 
another thing that i really like is the blind view monitor or bvm so if you turn on the left indicator you can see that the blind spot is clearly highlighted by the camera or mounted on the outside rear view mirror even if you turn on the right indicator the right camera turns on to eliminate any kind of blind spots while anyone else is trying to overtake you or when you are trying to perform an over quick overtake you can have clearly check the blind spots before you perform those quick overtakes that's a, a very good uh, practically usable feature that hyundai have offered this time around so well done a job well done by you know tweaking all the right kind of aspects to make it even more uh, close to perfect i wouldn't say it is perfect uh, but uh, yeah uh, i enjoyed driving it i enjoyed uh, uh, i mean this is a tried and tested power train that we've already tasted before so nothing new but still it continues to play it safe and offer something uh, more in terms of value proposition in terms of luxury in terms of safety and in terms of convenience so what do you guys think do you like the new shape do you like the new creta or do you still prefer the old creta shape or what the old creta had on offer feel free to comment below let me know what is your pick would it be this or the seltos also feel free to comment below and let me know or would you go for something else so that's pretty much it thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video until then feel free to watch that walk around uh, a detailed walkthrough of interior and exterior Catch you guys next time. Until then, ciao. Stay blessed.